What is the reputation of Sydney Square? It's a little shady, it's a little seedy, but you get good deals here on electronics. Shady and seedy. The result of a time when Simlim was a haven for pirated goods. Despite the clampdown on piracy in recent years, piracy rates are still around 36% here. This prompted Microsoft to collaborate with Simlim to combat software piracy. Piracy has been around for quite a while already, right? So why the sudden decision to have a partnership with Simlim? Okay, there is actually not a, um, a, 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 a certain compelling event that makes us work together. As you see, uh, piracy is something that has uh, been around. We have been actually gradually improving the the the, uh, the price, the, lowering the piracy rates in Singapore. But this is it's not something that will go away over, uh, overnight. Uh, I think um, both Simlim and, and Microsoft are both concerned and doing uh, actively uh, trying to actually address this problem. So we believe that it, it actually makes better sense for us to work together. Well, basically, in Simlim Square, we have this Star Retailers program, and uh, we want to enhance the shopping experience here. So when Microsoft informed us that you know they were they have this uh, piracy pirated software, then they wanted to know whether they could actually you know partner in go in partnership with us. In that way, if any any counterfeit software is being uh, sold, then we will be able to you know take these shops away from our Star Retailers uh, program. The Star Retailer program has been around for six years, and retailers tend to lose quite a bit if they are dropped from the program. What benefits will you get as a retailer for being a star retailer? Well, we have spent roughly $200,000 per annum. We publish this star retailer's guide, which we hand out to all the tourists when they come in. We also uh, have a lot of posters in the lift lobbies in the, and other standees as well, so that we tell the public, if you come in here and you want a good shopping experience, buy from a star retailer. When we join in the star retailer, the user can get the invoice and the product to go to the management office to get the refund, the full refund, right. if we overcharge the customer. That's the best thing and good thing for the uh, star retailer. For the user, once you buy things from us, then they are safe. So the retailers have been warned. If they were caught selling pirated products, they would be excluded from Simlim's marketing programs. And to keep retailers on their tippy toes, Microsoft are playing their own game of real or fake. The only way we can you know, spot out or uh, counterfeit forward is to do mystery shopping. Mystery shopping is not something that's unique to Microsoft. I think most retailers of, of various industries have done, been done mystery shopping. So this is where we can sample and see whether there are instances of, uh, of um, counterfeit software. If there is, then we'll uh, alert the authorities and they'll take the necessary actions. Right. And what results have these yielded so far? So far, in a way, uh, we're actually quite happy. Um, the number of um, p- uh, cut retailers caught with uh, con- uh, selling counterfeit software has been fairly low. Recently, we only caught two. And if you think about it, how big is it? Them? There's 500, 500 shops here. So two out of 500, that is actually a very, very small ratio. So that shows that you know, uh, only a minority of uh, retailers are now um, uh, will actually contemplate sending counterfeit so- for software and that is also a measure of our success. But there was a time when piracy was rampant here in Simlim. In the next clip, we see how Simlim has changed since the piracy high in the 90s.